Welcome to the second part of the fishing line testing video. This will be the second part of the video, testing monofilament. All right, well, hopefully you've watched the first part of this video so you know what I'm talking about. This will be the second part in a four part series about testing different parts of fishing line. Today I will be testing this line's strength, stretch, abrasion resistance, and impact resistance. These are, can all translate into different things. Strength and stretch translates into how strong you can pull a line, which is pretty obvious, and stretch, which means the line sensitivity. So, I have a 50 pound digital scale here, and I have about one foot of fishing line strung up on this board. I have put out notches on this sheet that represent inch, inch and a half marks out to three inches. I don't expect the monofilament to stretch that much further in just a one foot length. I will stretch it out until it snaps. That will test the maximum stretch and the snap. I am going to put on safety glasses for this because there is a snap risk factor. All right, let's go. Okay, hopefully I got that on video. But wow, that actually stretched closer to three and a half inches. And I'll have to look up on the thing, you probably see it up here somewhere, the actual poundage of that. It wasn't very much, and I am honestly shocked it stretched that far. That is rather amazing, actually. So, now for the next test. A test on abrasion resistance. Alright, now that I've tied a new line on, it is time to test abrasion resistance. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the scale, get the line up to two or three pounds, and have it under load. Okay, judging from how easily it snapped last time, I'm not going to go much further than that. It's about two pounds. All right, now I'm going to take this rasp here and see how many times it takes running across to snap the line. Man, that makes a weird sound. Okay, I'm gonna turn it over to the other side. There we go. That's fairly abrasion resistant, I'd say. Took a bunch of swipes to get across it. And the lines all tore up at the end, a little bit frayed. All right, next test, impact, which is going to be fun. All right. All right, final test, 
impact resistance. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this three pound weight, which this four pound line should hold, and I'm going to see how many drops it takes from this point to this point, how many drops it takes to break the line. I don't think it's going to take very many. All right, drop one. Oh wait, almost forgot. Safety gear, glasses. Okay. The line's coiling around a little bit. It's a problem with line memory. All right, dang it. Just gotta keep it out of the way long enough to drop. Okay. Dropping three, two, one. Well, that wasn't very exciting. Yeah, line snapped. Granted, that is much more weight than you would ever want to put on four pound test, but that simulates more if it was a full cast that you were casting a heavier jig on and that just snapped it real quick. Watch. Another snap, just like that. So, that is the monofilament test. So far on testing it, at one foot length, it stretches well over three and a half inches. And with the abrasion resistance, it is fairly abrasion resistant. It took a lot of strokes with the rasp to simulating a small rock rubbing against your line. And for strength, it took a little over four pounds to break it. So the weight reading is fairly accurate. And impact resistance, not very against the weight I used. So, well, that's the video. All right. Hopefully this will be useful. Stay tuned for the next part on fluorocarbon. And that's it. All right. See you next time.